The quest for big arms and the quest for the perfect physique often starts for most of us with some version of growing our biceps and building big biceps. And when you look across Instagram, TikTok, and all the social medias out there, including the ones that we don't even know about, there are 8 million biceps exercises out there. The thing with those 8 million biceps exercises is most of them are completely dumb and a waste of your time. And if we stick with the basics, if we stick with the most effective exercises, that's how we're gonna grow our biceps. So let's go over five biceps exercises that you're better off skipping if you really wanna build strong, big biceps, and let's figure out what moves we should do instead. One biceps exercise that you may not think is a waste of time, but it really kind of is, is something called the concentration curl. Now the concentration curl is a classic exercise that bros have been doing since the beginning of bodybuilding and training. But here's the thing with it. It is way too easy to cheat and leverage. A lot of people wind up digging their elbow into their thigh and just kind of balancing and not really getting the most out of the biceps contraction. We're also just not gonna get a really great squeeze on our biceps unless we're super focused. And let's face it, not enough people are focused on doing it the right way. Instead of doing concentration curls, your better option is something called the spider curl. Now, you will need an incline bench for this, but because of the position that we're in, we're still gonna get a little bit of shoulder flexion within our curl, just like we do on a good concentration curl. And we're also gonna be in a position to isolate, but there's much less ability to leverage and cheat with this. So you're gonna get that really good squeeze that you want on your biceps curls. Second up is the wide grip barbell curl. Now this is another bodybuilding school exercise that has been done since the beginning of time. And you think you have to do it if you wanna get the most out of a barbell curl. Except here's the thing. When you're doing wide grip barbell curls, you're kind of working against yourself. Yes, in theory, it's giving you a really good chance to supinate, but you're so wide that you're just not gonna be able to generate full force and true force with your biceps, and you're not gonna be able to get that really, really good contraction. You're not gonna be able to move as much weight. Instead of going wide grip with your biceps curls, let's just go to a standard shoulder width grip on our biceps curls. You're gonna get a lot more out of this, and yes, you can still supinate, you can still focus on that squeeze. You're gonna get a lot more out of that move. Third up is the crossbody hammer curl. Again, another bro exercise. I know it seems like we're just attacking bro exercises right now, but hey, they can use a little bit of work. When we're doing the crossbody hammer curl, the issue here, yes, it's a really good contraction for your brachialis, but coming across our body, we wind up with a lot of internal rotation at the shoulder joint, and we're also potentially loosening up our scapula. It's just not something we need to do to get the most out of the curl. Instead of doing that, just stick to a classic hammer curl. We're gonna keep our shoulders straight at our sides. We're gonna tighten up, and all you're gonna do is hammer curl out front of you, you're still gonna hit your brachialis and you're also gonna be positioned for a much better eccentric contraction on every single rep. A biceps exercise you want to avoid in addition is something called the seated easy bar curl. This has always seemed like a cheat and a waste of time to me, just a lazy way to biceps curl. It also has us working in the least useful biceps wrong. Remember, we always wanna to try to get a full stretch on our biceps on every muscle because so much good stuff happens at that point of the motion. And you're not getting that when you're doing a seated easy bar curl, we're wasting that part of the motion. If you really wanna get something a little bit more effective, let's go to a standing easy bar half full curl. Now you're gonna spend extra time in the top range, but we're still gonna work a full range of motion. That's gonna be a lot better for your biceps in the long run. The biceps push-up. what the heck is the biceps push-up? Here's the fact. No matter what these body weight people tell you that you can get something out of a push-up just by changing the position of your hands for your biceps, you're not actually training your biceps at all. This is a complete waste of time. If you want a better body weight biceps exercise, if you need a body weight biceps exercise, then instead of doing some push-up, because with all these push-ups, you're still gonna hit your chest, shoulders, and tries on some level. Instead of doing that, we're just gonna go to the chin up. That is how you attack your biceps with body weight, and that is the best move for your biceps with body weight. So that's five moves that you can take off of your list if you're really chasing big, strong biceps. Stick to the moves we gave you instead, and you're gonna see a lot better results and waste a lot less time in the gym.